how to create and add favicon in shopify hey guys welcome back today we will be doing a quick look at how you can get started with creating your own favicons and uploading them into your shopify store so before we get into favicons first off we need to understand what exactly are favicons so you guys see these little icons that pop up on the top of your uh, search tab on the top of any of your tabs you have this little icon of the logo of your website generally that's the logo that you see if a website does not have a favicon you just see like a globe a empty image image of a globe so that is your favicon and establishing a brand or establishing an e-commerce store is very much linked to your brand identity so it's very essential that you're able to build a super professional recognizable or marketable favicon so this is the basic purpose of your favicon it represents your business it represents your business logo and it shows up on the top of your tabs so it needs to have a firm identity or a very firm visual appeal or connection directly to your brand so let's get into building our favicon now if you already have a pre-existing logo you want to just resize your logo to do that we're going to be using canva and we're going to build our favicon from scratch so to build our favicon just head on over to canva.com it is a free to use platform that enables you to create amazing illustrations and design elements and all you want to do is search for favicon so you can just search for favicon over here and you have multiple different options so you have favicon logo over here and they will show you some of the logo templates that are available there are multiple different logo templates available as well so you can pick out any template that you want you can even choose a particular category let's say we want to do something in the line of marketing so you know you can choose whatever template you want but i'm just going to continue on and just take a look at some of the different logos available let's say i want to go with this one and i'm going to click on customize this template and obviously if you have a pre-existing logo you're going to be resizing it over here instead of just downloading or creating a new one you just want to input your design in the favicon frame you can search for the ideal favicon sizes as well but usually even with the larger image quality shopify allows you to upload heavy files so it really does not require you to build it separately if you don't want to reduce the image file size so let's say we want to name our business dirt and store like this and let's say i want to change the color like so leave it transparent or maybe I want to provide it with like a background hologram kind of look. So for that, I'm just going to go in elements. And when you go in the element section in Canva, you can basically just search for anything and you're going to find related uh, illustrations or elements. So I will just search for circle gradient and you guys can see in the graphic section you have these little gradients so I'm going to be using one of these gradients and I'm going to expand it like so then I'm going to click on layer and click on send to back then I'm going to change the color of the gradient so I want a different color scheme for my gradient like this I think I'm going to change the color scheme a little more. Maybe I want it to be two colors that are similar. And I'm just trying to build like a really nice little color combo for our little logo. And I think this looks pretty good. Once I have my design ready, now there are a few concerns a lot of people have. First off is the background. So a lot of favicons do have backgrounds, but if you want to create a background free favicon, you can do that in multiple different ways. You can even go directly into the Canva apps on the bottom left and you can search for the background remover over here but that is one of the premium features on canva their background remover so i do think that a lot of people for a lot of people it's not going to be worthwhile so just design your favicon on canva and once you have completed your design simply click on share and click on download then you just want to download your image 
Once you have downloaded your image, simply head on over to remove.bg. This is a free to use platform. It does not require any sign up and just upload your image over here. Now you can upload your image and it will create a background removed version. So now you guys can see this is the background removed version. And now I have a circular favicon instead of having a square shaped background, a white background. So now I can click on download over here. And now to add this and, uh, you know, add this to our Shopify store, currently this is my store and if you see on the top over here, my store's favicon is not available. So now if I go on to Shopify, all I have to do is click on online store. Once you click on online store over here, you want to click on customize at your current theme. So just click on customize over here at the green button. Now, once you've clicked on customize, you will be able to see on the left side of your screen, it says theme settings. So you want to click on theme settings over here. Once you have entered your theme settings, simply click on logo. And then below that, you will see in your drop down, you have the favicon image option. So from here, you will click on select image and then you can upload your own image. So you can click on add images. And now you will upload the favicon that you just created. So we're just uploading this. It might take a couple of seconds. Once it has been completed, simply click on done on the bottom right. And now once your favicon is uploaded, you want to click on save on the top right. And now our changes are saved. So now if I open up my store, in a couple of seconds, my new favicon will be live. So you guys can see my favicon is now available. I can see it on my tab. It looks pretty nice. Now, one thing I would note is to create a high contrasting favicon because if it has too much detail, the design is not going to pop. Like our design, it's a little small or it has too many details in it. So creating a favicon that does not have a lot of detail, that's very basic, is going to serve you better. Better. So make sure to keep that in mind whenever you are designing your favicon for your Shopify store. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to follow along with these methods and techniques that I showed in this video. And if you enjoyed this video, I would recommend that you please leave a like. And if you have any questions regarding this video, regarding any other video, or regarding any social platform, then you can definitely ask me in the comments down below. And I will try to answer as soon as possible because that is the point of our YouTube channel. I want to show you guys on how to glide through these platforms and how to easily navigate and fulfill the purposes that you want to do with these social platforms and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video